What could possibly cause a modern airliner to disappear without a trace? This enigma has perplexed many ever since the mysterious disappearance of Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. On a fateful day in March 2014, MH370 departed from Kuala Lumpur, bound for Beijing, only to disappear less than an hour into the flight. Its sudden and unexplained deviation from the planned flight path left the world stunned, sparking an enigma that has continued to baffle experts for nearly a decade. A modern and technologically advanced Boeing 777 aircraft mysteriously vanished, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions and unresolved theories. What happened to MH370? Why did it divert from its course? And where did it end up? These questions have haunted the minds of many, from aviation experts to the families of those on board. Join us as we delve into the enigmatic disappearance of MH370, a mystery that continues to baffle aviation experts nearly a decade later. Imagine a plane mid-flight suddenly changing its course without any apparent reason. That's precisely what happened with Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. Less than an hour into its journey from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing, the Boeing 777 aircraft veered away from its planned flight path. Instead of continuing its northeast trajectory, the plane turned westward, crossing the Malay Peninsula in a bewildering deviation. This abrupt change in course wasn't a minor detour. It was a significant shift that took the aircraft hundreds of miles off its intended path. It's as if the plane had its own mind, making a decision that left everyone on the ground baffled. But of course, planes do not have minds. So, what could have caused this? One possible explanation is pilot intervention. Could it be that the pilots, for reasons unknown, deliberately altered the course? The flight deck of a Boeing 777 is a highly secure space. Any attempt to change the flight path would have required specific knowledge and access. Besides, the aircraft's advanced autopilot systems would have immediately alerted ground control about any unscheduled course change, making deliberate deviation a risky proposition. On the other hand, could external factors have influenced the plane's course? Perhaps a mechanical failure or a sudden weather change forced the pilots to divert. Or even more alarmingly, could a hijack have caused the deviation? All these scenarios present their own set of questions, and without definitive evidence, they remain speculative at best. The sudden change in course remains one of the most perplexing aspects of the MH370 mystery. It's a piece of the puzzle that, like the plane itself, seems to have vanished into thin air. Until we can answer what caused this unexplained deviation, the enigma of Flight MH370 will continue to hang in the balance, a haunting reminder of a mystery that remains unsolved. What would cause an aircraft's communication systems to go silent mid-flight? This question has been at the heart of the MH370 mystery. The Aircraft Communications Addressing and Reporting System, also known as ACARS, along with the transponder, stopped transmitting around the same time the flight deviated from its course. Now, this could be a mere coincidence or something more sinister. And that's where the debate heats up. There are two main schools of thought. The first, technical failure implies that these systems malfunctioned due to an unseen issue. However, the simultaneous deactivation of both systems seems to suggest otherwise. The second theory leans more towards human intervention, suggesting that they were manually shut off. But who would do that and why? The pilots? A possible hijacker? This is where the mystery deepens. Without the black boxes or substantial physical evidence, it's difficult to confirm or refute these theories. The silence of MH370's communication systems adds another layer to the enigma. How can satellite data lead search efforts to one of the most remote places on Earth? This question underpinned the extensive search operation for Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370 in the southern Indian Ocean. Following the sudden disappearance of MH370, the most substantial leads came from an unexpected source, satellite data. The aircraft, despite having its communication systems inactive, continued to exchange handshake signals with an Inmarsat satellite. Analysis of these signals indicated that MH370 continued to fly for several hours after losing contact with air traffic control. This data, combined with the plane's estimated fuel range, led investigators to conclude that MH370 ended its journey in the southern Indian Ocean, far from any landmass. The southern Indian Ocean, known for its vastness and depth, became the focal point of an unprecedented multinational search operation. 
Countries from around the globe pooled their resources, deploying ships, aircraft, and advanced underwater vehicles in the hope of finding the missing Boeing 777. It was a race against time, as the aircraft's black boxes, crucial to understanding what happened, had a battery life of roughly 30 days. Yet, the southern Indian Ocean proved a formidable adversary. Its remote location, coupled with its extreme depths and an underwater terrain filled with deep trenches and rugged mountains, made the search a daunting task. Despite being the most expensive search operation in aviation history, the relentless pursuit did not yield the desired results. Months turned into years, and the main wreckage of MH370, along with its black boxes, remained elusive. The search operation, though extensive, ended up raising more questions than it answered. Why did MH370 end up in one of the most remote places on Earth? What happened in the final hours of its flight? These questions, along with the anguish of those left behind, continue to linger. Like MH370 itself, somewhere in the vast expanse of the southern Indian Ocean. Despite the extensive search, the main wreckage of MH370 remains elusive. What can a piece of an aircraft wing tell us about a crash? In 2015, the discovery of a flaperon, a component of an aircraft's wing on Reunion Island, thousands of kilometers away from the search area, provided a chilling confirmation. Flight MH370 had indeed crashed. But this discovery did more than confirm our worst fears. It also sparked a flurry of new questions. The presence of the flaperon so far from the search zone posed a puzzle about the dynamics of the crash and the complex patterns of oceanic drift. How had a piece of the plane traveled so far? What could this tell us about where the plane went down? Subsequent findings of other debris pieces seem to offer further clues. Each piece, each fragment, held the potential to unlock answers, to bring us a step closer to understanding what had happened. Yet as each piece was analyzed, the findings seemed to deepen the enigma rather than resolve it. The debris, like silent witnesses to the tragedy, held tantalizing clues. They confirmed a crash had occurred, but they couldn't tell us why or exactly where. They couldn't give us the full story. The puzzle of MH370, despite these fragments of evidence, remains unsolved. What could have possibly happened in the cockpit of MH370? This question has been the fuel for countless theories and speculations, each attempting to unravel the enigma of the missing flight. Let's start with the pilot's role. Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah was at the helm when the plane disappeared. Some theorists suggest he may have intentionally diverted the flight, possibly for an act of suicide. But investigations yielded no concrete evidence to support such claims, leaving the pilot's actions and motives shrouded in mystery. Then, we have the theories of a possible mechanical failure or a hijacking. But the absence of a distress signal, the peculiar route taken by the aircraft, and the deactivation of communication systems cast doubts on these theories. Without the wreckage, a detailed forensic analysis to confirm or rule out these scenarios remains impossible. Another theory that's been floated around is the involvement of external forces. Some speculate that state actors or even cyber hijackers could have interfered with the flight. Yet, the lack of substantial evidence makes these theories just as speculative as the rest. Adding to the speculation is the fact that the aircraft's black boxes, crucial for understanding what happened on board, have not been found. These devices, designed to survive extreme conditions, could hold vital data, including cockpit voice recordings and flight data. Their recovery is essential to solving the mystery, but the vast and deep ocean area makes this a daunting task. So, what do we really know? Well, the truth is, not much. The disappearance of MH370 has proven to be one of the most baffling mysteries in aviation history. Each theory seems plausible on the surface, yet lacks the concrete evidence needed to transform speculation into fact. The truth about what happened on board MH370 is cloaked in speculation and mystery. Despite the countless theories and speculations, the real answer remains elusive. Until the day concrete evidence is found, the fate of MH370 will continue to be one of the world's greatest unsolved mysteries. Will we ever find the answers we seek about MH370? This question looms large as we delve into the unending quest for truth. At the heart of this search are the aircraft's black boxes, the cockpit voice recorder and the flight data recorder. These devices, designed to withstand extreme conditions, hold the potential to unlock crucial information about what transpired on that fateful flight. However, recovering these black boxes is a formidable challenge. 
Imagine searching for a needle in a haystack, but the haystack is the vast expanse of the southern Indian Ocean, and the needle is a small, critical piece of aviation technology. The depth, topography, and unpredictable nature of the ocean make this an incredibly daunting task. Yet, the importance of finding these devices cannot be overstated. They may hold the key to unraveling this complex puzzle and bringing closure to the families of the 239 people aboard the flight. Discussions regarding a potential new search are ongoing. Each passing year adds to the complexity of the search, but it also fuels the determination to solve this enigma. The story of MH370 is not just about an aircraft that vanished, it's about the relentless human spirit that refuses to give up in the face of adversity. The quest for answers continues, as the mystery of MH370 lingers on, leaving a poignant reminder of one of aviation's greatest enigmas. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the mystery of MH370. We've shared with you the facts, the findings, the theories, and the ongoing quest for the truth. Now it's your turn to share with us. What are your thoughts about this enigma? Do you have any theories of your own? We encourage you to leave your thoughts and theories in the comments section below. Your perspective could provide a fresh angle to this unending quest. Also, if you found this content intriguing and wish to explore more mysteries with us, please subscribe to our channel. Your support fuels our work and enables us to bring more such intriguing content to you. We appreciate your interest, your engagement, and your support. We look forward to hearing your thoughts. Until then, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep engaging with us. This is not just our journey into the unknown, it's yours too. Remember, every mystery is a puzzle waiting to be solved, and every viewer is a potential detective. Let's unravel the mysteries of the world together.